I've been pushing it 31 volts and I've not managed to kill it. I haven't got any active cooling on this little circuit, but I've decided what I'm going to do because it doesn't really take very much current, you know, to get a nice little bit of break up. It doesn't take very much current. And uh, what I've decided that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this supply in a series, 60 volts, and just turn it up until, well, I want to come off nicely, until I break it basically. No, I'm not going to push it to uh, where I realise I'm actually just getting absolutely silly, and I've I've had a good a good go and it hasn't died, and I just pushed. So I don't think I'm going to do that. But I do want to see if I can get a bit of spark out of this because it seems to be quite uh, happy, and it still hasn't got any like. The, the, you know, You see the diode there, it's not even connected, it's connected to one leg, look, but this leg sticks out here. That's all this circuit is, coming off this TIP. That goes on to the primary. The secondary plugs into there. And that plugs into the power supply. And that's it, and this is, you know, just to help try and keep it cool with a bit of a... Uh, I don't know if it's conductive or non-conductive. Ah, it's, it's not touching anything else, I think it really matters. Uh, thermal coupling paste, I meant to add. So, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I know using this uh, two turn, or lower bottom to the top here. Or is that one? One. To, you know, two turn coil, I get the best effect out of it. So, all I'm going to do now is put this thing on tracking. And if I can remember how to do it, and go for high voltage 31 volts so far. I might try a couple of capacitors, that's what this thing is here for. Oh, you can't see. Um, that's what this is here for, so I can uh, flick capacitors into the circuit negative and positive. Yeah. I'll just use clips and clip them onto clips so I can take them. Take them on and off. I hope I don't break it, but I don't really care. I've got loads of these TIPs, I, kept, I was killing them all the time, so I bought a whole load of them. They're cheap from China, it took ages to get it. But then I haven't killed one since, so <laughs> and there's my scope, which is acting as my RF detector, so I know when I've got a circuit, if I don't have a bulb handy, uh, which is here. Uh, let's just turn it off and put something on the top. Just because he's, uh, I'm gonna put a uh, 
electrolytical. Which, to be honest, really I need to do lots of experiments to find out what works best and what doesn't work best. But this does help when it comes to doing these sort of things with this off. and more brightness. The LEDs on orange is going into red. I think maybe I can do a breakdown. So I turn that down. Well, 14 volts that is, and it's doing just as good a job as what it was before. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing it, as well just do that, because it's not going to work that well. Did a bit of extra kazinga, but one side wasn't tracking as high as the other on 24 volts. I did 15 on here, so I don't know if that's an error. That's the one I should try a different capacitor. 
Uh, this is a cooker capacitor. I think it's 800, um, no, 1200 volts. 1200 volts. I'm going to set up a front. 